Happy Halloween! And for those who don't celebrate or whatever you do on Halloween, I'm not actually sure how the season works. I hope you have a happy, I guess, normal day. <laughs> Okay, I'm actually not sure how to start this video off because I've never done a seasonal themed video before. So since Halloween isn't really celebrated in New Zealand and I'm not really interested in scary things, I'm not really sure how to explain of all celebrations I chose this one. Um, I think it's just because I love the magical vibe and cute stories relating to witches. You know, does that make sense? So I'll tell the story about this piece first. So basically, the story behind it is that during the Halloween night, the children who are alone after midnight outside trick-or-treating, a giant jack-o'-lantern comes down and traps them in a basket using a rune barrier and carries them away. What he does with his victim, I am not really sure. I haven't thought that hard ahead. Maybe he eats them or steal their souls? I don't know. <laughs> Fortunately for this little girl, a male witch flew by and he basically trying to free her with the help of his bat cat familiars. Yeah, I mean, I tried to convey this, but I'm not sure if I did it properly. Especially since I did this piece in a few hours, I might revisit this again in the future because I really do adore this story a lot. Alright, originally I was working on another big piece that was meant to be uploaded last Sunday, the 28th, but my urge to draw something Halloween theme was too strong, so I popped that painting aside and sort of rushed this one. Not a good thing. I picked a smaller dimension for my paper um, for the story that I had in mind already, which I just told, but I made a lot of mistakes. It's so obvious where those mistakes are since I tried very badly to cover it up with white gel pan, like the cat bat familiar hanging off the jack-o'-lantern at the start of the video, and the greenery on the top left of the pumpkin. It just felt really out of place no matter how I looked at it, but in the end it turned out pretty good. I actually wondered if I should have transferred it to another sheet of paper before the painting stage, but I'm glad I didn't because I ended up changing a lot more things, and in the end I learned a lot of methods to either embrace or go around the mistakes to fix them. Like covering this part with acrylic paint and fixing bad lining with wash paint so it still has the watercolory look, but opaque enough to cover the mistakes. Look at me struggle taking the tape off. <laughs> I don't really know how to do seasonal theme videos, I'm sorry. <laughs> but that basically it. Um, thank you for watching, happy painting, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye!